In this tutorial we're going to create a very simple contact form using the demo form that's supplied with Chronoforms version 5. Install the demos by clicking this icon, in this case it's already been done. We'll scroll down here and here is a demo basic contact. Click the checkbox, come up here, I'm going to make a copy of that so that the original form is still available. Now here we have a copy down here and what we're going to do is to open that we're going to rename it because you want it to have a different name from the demo form and we're going to change the form app here so that we can filter it in the forms manager so we'll change that to test forms let's just save after those changes save and close here and you'll see now that we have basic contact it's called test forms but it's inconvenient to have the current form at the bottom of the list so we'll use the sorting headers here click it twice so that now our new form ID 19 is up at the top of the list and you can also search forms here so if we know we want a contact form we can get all the contact forms showing or we can clear that we can also use the format listing here to sort the application so that we can get to a group of named applications if we need them so let's have a look at what our form looks like click the view form link here opens the form in a new tab it's a very standard contact form name email subject message submit you can see that validations are applied to these we're going to leave that for the moment exactly as it is but we'll just have a look in the back end and see how that is set up back in the back end here we can open the form for editing by clicking the form name link here Here's the general tab we used before. The designer tab is where we build the form elements by dragging and dropping them here. So we can drag in a checkbox, for instance, if you want it. But here we've got what we want. We've got two short text inputs, one longer text input, a text area, and a submit button. All absolutely fine. And we'll look at how those are formatted later on. Now if we go to the setup tab, this is where the form actions take place and we have here what Chronoform's called events so there's an onload event and an onsubmit event the onload event is are the actions that are run when the form is first loaded in the onsubmit event are the actions that are run when the form is submitted so here we have an HTML render form action which is what takes the HTML from the designer tab turns it into HTML that can be displayed as a form that you're almost always going to need in your form 99.9% .9 of the time. In the onsubmit action here we have two things. We've got an email action and we've got a display message. So once this form is submitted an email will be sent and then a message will be displayed to the user. Let's look at the message. Very simple, it just says thank you. You can add a label here, which is just used if you have several messages in the admin. It helps you know which one is which. And here, if you want to use it, you can switch on a text editor. So you can cre easily create more fancy HTML. Turn that off. We'll save and close that. And we'll look at the email configuration here. Click Edit. Again, there are four tabs up here. This is a label, so you, if you have several emails, you can tell which one is which. This enables or disables the action. Sometimes when you're testing, you don't want to be sending emails. Here we have a to address. I'm just going to put my email in here. A subject.
a from name this is just the name so we'll put uh, and in here we want a ascending address so we'll just put uh, bob at greyhead.net this entry should almost always match the domain name that you're using that's .org in this case not .net and it should be different from the two address up here. If they're the same then some mail service will drop the email. Gmail does that in particular and I use Gmail. Down here you can see that a template has been automatically generated. Uh, if you leave this blank or you click the auto generate form it will look in the form for all the inputs and create what is effectively a very simple table layout with the form labels and the values in it. And For the moment we'll leave that exactly as it is down here should you want to you can attach some files that'll do us for the moment that's all the settings we need to do we'll come in here we'll save the form there you go saved successfully we'll go back in here we'll fill in some values let's get rid of these messages Chester. Well, I can't spell. We'll add some random text in here and we'll click submit. The form submits, there's our thank you message showing, and that's it done and then just to conform, confirm that that's happened we'll switch over to my email inbox and here's the email which arrived a few seconds after I clicked submit. You can see there's the contact name tester email subject test message message so on. Completely straightforward and that's all you need to do. We'll stop there thank you.